Hi, Gary here from Mr G Shave. Uh, back for another, it should have been a Saturday shave, but uh, yeah, things just um, all went wrong yesterday. <laughs> well, they didn't go wrong, it just took a lot longer than I expected. Um, I think I mentioned in a video, in the last video or the video before, um, I'm looking for another car to replace the car that I've got. And I was out test driving and time ran away with me and we had to get the little puppy that my son had for his 21st. Uh, we had to get it groomed. So it, it was just, it, the time ran away with me. So I apologize for, for being a day late. Um, smacked hand. <laughs> um, right, okay, so um, today I am using, let's go through the hardware first. I'm using my uh, Omega Owner's Club brush, ball brush. It's dripping everywhere, let's just squeeze that out. So slowly breaking this in over time. Um, that's one part of the hardware. I'm, actually, I'm not using a bowl because I'm gonna face lather. Uh, <laughs> the blade I'm gonna use today is the Astra Green. And the razors, I'm having a bit of a, a comparison shave or a competition between the Gillette Fusion and the Edwin Jagger DE89 with the black diamond knurled handle. I know which one's going to win straight away. This hasn't been shaved since Wednesday, so um, yeah, I, I know which one's going to win, but I just wanted to do it. It's something I've wanted to do for a while now, so it's a cart razor versus a DE razor and then we'll see which one's you know gives you a better shave. Um, right so unusually I'm going to introduce the software right now as well because I just can't wait. So the pre-shave today is going to be Perazzo, Perazzo Blue and then today's sponsor, not really, is <laughs> a new soap I got to the den. I don't know if it's any good. I really haven't got a clue but I had to buy it. The sponsor is Shit shower and shave. <laughs> it's actually a shave soap. I got it off Etsy. So yeah, nothing like a good shit shower and shave. Right, apologies to those of a sensitive uh, demeanor. Um, I, I mean, no offense. <laughs> That's the name of the soap. <laughs> so I'm following that up with Boots Cucumber. And then Razor Rock the Stallion aftershave. And a new balm to the den, uh, Nivea Men Skin Energy Caffeine after sh Aftershave Balm. So there you go. So that's what I'm using today. I'm going to get myself ready for the shave and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back, ready for the shave. So let's get some... I've already got the uh, Perazzo Blue pre-shave on. Just saving a bit of time. So let's... Uh, Let's give this so I just had to buy this. Hilarious. <laughs> um, let's give this soap a go. I'm going to try and open up one end so I can use it like a shave bar. Um, actually, no. Am I going to be able to do that? Let's pull it out. So this is what the soap looks like. It's in a bar form. Um, Oh yeah, the scent profile on this is 100% uh, natural shaving bar with orange and lavender essential oils. So, and you can definitely smell the orange, not so much the lavender, but I'm sure once I start lathering it up, it will uh, do the job. So here goes, let's just get it on the face. I don't know how well this is going to work. This could be a disaster. And I haven't got a backup soap to hand. Oh, actually I have, probably in the cupboard here. But it's going to be used with a ball brush. So it should be interesting to see how well it performs. I'm putting plenty on. It 
less of a scent. I would say the scent strength on this is really low. I can just about smell the orange now. I can't smell the lavender. Right, that should do the job. I'm going to wash that off, leave it to dry. And let's get going with trying to lather this up with a brush. So how's your week been? I hope you've had a, a great week and uh, so far you've enjoyed your weekend. Uh, I've been busy as you know so things just you know, didn't go to plan yesterday so let's just say that. Got a hair. Right, this is dissipating quite quickly. I may have to go to a backup soap, but it was worth a go. I just had to buy it. <laughs> yeah, this is really dissipating. It didn't cost a lot of money, but <laughs> you know what it's like when you see something like that. We're gonna give it its first pass. Let's see if we can give it another chance. Try and get this lathering up. This if it if it it doesn't it doesn't seem to be holding its lather. <clears throat> um, so this will probably get used as a pre-shave, it's really dissipating quite quickly. So I'm going to give it a go, <clears throat> but I am <clears throat> definitely going to swap out for a different soap. Shame really, I had high hopes, I was hoping it would be great so I could recommend it, but right now, no. Right, so I'm going to go with the Gillette Fusion cartridge razor. It's got a brand new blade on it, so it's a fair fight. And I'm going to shave in exactly the same way on both sides. Just one stroke down, one stroke across. see how they fare against each other. Right, Edwin Jagger DE89 on the other side. Whoa, did a few passes there, sorry. Very smooth. Um, the fusion wasn't as tuggy as I thought it was going to be, but it, it is quite tuggy. It's certainly more tuggy than the DE89. Didn't feel anywhere near as comfortable. <clears throat> this, as I say, I'm swapping. I'm going to... Oh, God, I've got soap everywhere. All right, so just, let's just see what I've got in here that I could use. Latoya. So here we go, that's what I'm going to replace it with. Put some more. Water on. Yeah, so that was a, a cheap pre-shave. <laughs> It was worth a laugh. As I say, I saw it on Etsy, I couldn't resist. I've had it in my den for about a month or more. 
probably yeah I think I actually got it in the den in November but I just didn't get around to using it until now I wanted to save it for the new year so I guess you could say that um, that soap in terms of shaving was pretty shower and shave if you know what I mean <clears throat> so let's lather this up yeah this is much better straight away look I do like the Latoya and, and uh, the, the Latoya um, uh, soap has got a really nice scent to it this could be a long shave because I've had to lather up twice But it's all in fun. I think this is almost ready to shave with. I'm going to add some more water. Let's just add it on the face. Paint it in. This brush is softening up quite nicely, I must admit. But yeah. This is going to give me far better performance than that soap, soap bar. But it was worth a try. Got to give it a go. You never know, you, you can sometimes stumble on some gems like that Trois Birds soap that I found. That is excellent soap and the scent is fantastic. I think we still need a bit more water. Perfectly fine for a safety razor shave. So across the grain on this side is straight up. So, single strokes, <clears throat> on this side it's across. Little dip there. Oh, well I can tell you there's a difference but it's not the difference you would expect. I would say there's actually more on this side than on the other. That's amazing. That, I'm shocked. <clears throat> really shocked. But I'm not trying to give anyone an advantage over the other, so. Trying to make it as fair as possible. And I'm using both razors as they should be used, so no pressure with the safety razor, but I am using pressure on the cartridge razor. But this is an interest it's far more interesting comparison than, than I thought it would be. <clears throat> So against the grain now, on this side is a cross.
Oop, can't do two strokes. Oh, keep forgetting. That's pretty good actually. That is really pretty good. Right, here we go. So I am definitely applying pressure with this one. Right. Hmm. Well, I would say in certain areas the DE has done a better job by a mile and then in other areas the cartridge has done a better job by a mile. So that's really interesting. Um, The fact that you're more likely to get ingrowing hairs with this because it's like a, putting a cheese grater over your face is another thing. The fact that this blade costs a lot more than a safety razor blade is another point against. But they've both done a superb job. I'm going to go for the pickups. This soap is stunning. It's so slick. Absolutely stunning. Not the original soap. The original soap was a waste of time. I hate to say that. I hate to be so brutal, but that's not a shave soap. It's a hand soap at best. Um, I may try to bowl lather it, but... <clears throat> right, here we go. Pick up pass. Very smooth, very, very comfortable. And that is absolutely a little bit there. Probably a few more pickups than I'd normally do. But that is now BBS. And the reason for, you know, there's more pickups is obvious. <laughs> I've used the razor completely differently to the way I'd normally use it in terms of just doing one. Chasing the BBS. And that's BBS both sides. So you can definitely get a great shave with a cartridge razor. It was far closer than I expected it to be. I didn't think that that fusion would handle so many days growth. I thought it would just clog up and be useless, but it worked. So really surprising. Um, very pleased with the result on both sides. There is just a tiny, tiny difference. I would say there's less hair left or less. I mean, I, I can only just in a couple of places, there's, there's a little bit there, but pretty much. Yeah, there's a little bit more. 
I mean, it, the difference is negligible. I mean, it's really, you have to really focus. I would say this, I would say the DE wins, but that could just be bias. But it's, once you've paid the initial investment for a DE razor, which that one is what, 30, 40 quid, then it's 10 pence a blade-ish on average. Whereas you're gonna pay, what is it? 14, 17, 20 pounds for four or six blades. You got no chance, no chance. Um, this is a great, if you're in a rush, great one. You know, you don't have to worry about too much and then you can just slap on whatever gunk you want and go for it if you're really, really in a rush. But far less, it's far more pleasurable to use this than it is to use that. That's boring. <laughs> so yeah, for me, the uh, Edwin Jagger wins all day long. Right, I'm gonna clean up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back, cold rinse time. That feels amazing. Let's go over with the alum. Mm, bit of burn on this side. Or one or a two, well two probably. Just on the cheek, just there. Definitely got some burn here. More so I would say, or equal, at least equal to, if not a little bit more than and this is all over. So it's about equal, say two, two out of 10 or three out of 10 in burn all over on this side. Where is it only burnt there on that side? A little bit there, I think I have irritated something there. But yeah, fascinating. So overall I, I was, really shocked I'm just gonna let this soak in I was really shocked that the cartridge handled that much growth um, and it did so with ease really I only you know as, as you saw I tried to make it as fair as possible um, so they all both got exactly the same strokes um, although I forgot a couple of times but I think it balanced itself out really nice um, so yeah you can get an equally good shave from a cartridge razor um, but it will cost you a, a lot more I'm using Boots Cucumber now oh, oh I do like the scent of this Really refreshing, really refreshing. Oh. Really nice. Wakes you up a little bit. Right, I'm following that up with Razor Rock The Stallion. So it's a, an aftershave in homage to The Stallion on YouTube. And it's quite citrusy to me. It's definitely got citrus in there. I would say there's more burn on this side than this. But not a lot. I would, again, I would say the burn is about two out of 10. And finally, Nivea Men Skin Energy with caffeine. So let's, is this a, it is a screw off. So just using that much.
Oh, that's got a nice scent to it as well, nice fresh scent. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the shave. So, as I say, my preference for enjoyment, for budget, not that if you, if the problem is that you get into safety razor shaving, it's a rabbit hole. Um, once you start to really enjoy it, you, it's a lot more expensive than using a cartridge razor. Cartridge razors are boring though, they really are. Um, it gave me an equally, I would say they're pretty much on par with one another. But look at the difference, I mean that versus the style and class of that. Come on, it's just no competition. And <clears throat> I think you'll get less irritation, less ingrown hairs with this than you will with this. This is putting a cheese grater over your face. You think, how many blades? I don't even know how many blades are in this one. I, I, that's how much I know. I know about the Mac 3 because that's three blades. This has got one, two, three, four blades, I think. So you're putting four blades. So in the time that I've done a shave with one blade, one edge, and got BBS, I've used this. So on three passes, I've used four blades on each pass times three to get to the same place. Can't be doing your skin any good. It really can't. It's great if you're in a rush, but not for me, not for me. As for this, well, I'll use it as a hand soap, maybe as a pre-shave, but to be honest, uh, really the description is in the name, in the first word. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to give it a go. I, you know, I had some luck with Twa Birds, that was stunning off Etsy. One really, really nice soap, but this will not be featured again uh, in any of my shaves. Right, that's it for now. Bye-bye, see you next Wednesday for a straight razor shave.